I'm interested in the conservation because um, we can't, we, we're losing too many species of plants and uh, birds, plants and animals, um, you know. So, you know, I think it's just a good thing to do. I think most farmers would uh, be keen to sort of do what they could for the Plains Wanderers. And I think I, I read somewhere where the, in, after the 2002 drought, there was only probably 100, 150 birds um, left. So, yeah, so we knew they were, I've seen them up there, like, but not for 20 years. They're all the uh, spotlighting light, like, um, uh, we, well, we have um, four experts and myself, wasn't it, that night? Um, and um, we're in a dual cab ute and, and um, um, started cruising around, uh, well, basically doing grids up and down the paddock. Um, and after about half an hour or so, um, I was sitting in the front passenger seat with a spotlight and, I, and uh, I found one, you know, a male. And um, anyways, and then we found in pretty quick succession, we uh, found two more, a, ma uh, a male and a female. But, that's, um, but everyone was blown away because um, I don't think anyone was really expecting to see them. But they, but they were there and to see that C5 in a couple of hours was pretty special, yeah. Uh, we've cleaned up, um, uh, box timber with uh, box thorns. You know, the, there's so much shelter for um, foxes and cats and what have you. They breed in there. They, they, um, you know, they hang out in there, and then they out at night they go out hunting. And I actually, personally, I think they're probably the biggest um, danger to plants wanderers is the cats. Um, and um, they don't. They're very um, fussy. They don't like too much thick grass, and they don't like it too bare. Um, but it's and the percentage of a paddock that's actually the primary habitat is quite small, you know, or, or percentage of a farm. Um, you know, it's sort of basically transitional, where you got hard red, where it transitions into um, heavy clay. Those hard red areas on the that's basically the Plains Wanderer habitat. It's got to be the right sort of hard red. Uh, the Plains Wanderers seem to like the areas um, where there's um, perennial root grass. They don't like real thick grass, like that. Uh, and uh, yeah, but it's usually, you know, harder areas where you've got, say, a plants, you know, maybe even sort of half a metre to a metre of paper apart the plants um, and uh, that's the sort of areas they like. They don't like it real thick, you know. Uh, yes, I, I would encourage other farmers. It's, um, it's not really um, a big issue, the management of it and that you, you find that you won't really change anything what you're already doing. You know, like maybe you might move the stock out of a paddock a month before you normally would or, but other than that, it's not really, um, yeah, well, I think it's good, um, you know, if we could get them re-established a bit more, yeah.